Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Scenic Louisville. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Bowers fields it at the three. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. From their own 47-yard line, first down. And he's got the junior. They'll bring him down at the 42. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Has it to the senior. Tackle made at the 29. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up, and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. There really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. First down, 10 to go. 10 yards to the end zone. It's an active receiver, and he can't hang on. Smith is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. He might have a chance. Looking for the corner. He's taken down at the one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. 
They're going to go for the easy three here. Louisville is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. Dawson's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And, Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. Branch brings him down at the 39-yard line. That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up second, second and three. three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Check four, check four. Choose the mic. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Bowers brings him down at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. After a decent pickup. That's good for a That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball in the 49. Mike two, Mike two. Off play action. Now he's on the move. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. run up the middle. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Now he tries to buy some time. The ball is loose. It's recovered. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Louisville holds a field goal lead. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. Parker was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. He's under some heat. Scrambling around. He dives and he'll be marked Ooh. down. He scrambled and picked up a couple of yards. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. We've played one. Louisville leads it 3 nothing.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. the 49. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Third down again. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. Louisville is up a field goal. Clark makes it the 15. Tackle at the 28. So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he hits him hard at the 36. by the halfback. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. Going right to his tailback. And he's taken down at about the 41. Take him down immediately. Rogers on the tackle at the 47-yard line. That makes it third and three. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Three down, three down. Right, two. Watch two. Watch two. And down he goes. Around the 50. Three-yard gain by the running back. That makes it fourth and inches. Williams is the putter. Brought down at the 25-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Louisville is up by three. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Louisville's going to take their first time out of the half. About two minutes before halftime. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. time he gets rid of this one strong showing by the defense you always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can check, 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 check. the punt upcoming and they're going to come after this one <laughs> on. 
Tackle made at the 50. The Hurricanes have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now, and they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing, think about is maybe this is the running backs. Maybe it's this is their week to take some of the pressure off. Of maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off him. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Miami will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. He makes his way to about the 32. down in the open field. Jack, Jack, regular, regular, regular. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Here we go. Flag to the eight. Flag to the eight. Got his receiver. Touchdown. saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive and he converts the extra point a five play 50 yard drive and a touchdown as a result and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Grabs it and hammered right there. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. From their own 31-yard line, it's third down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. I don't know what game plan this offense is running, but it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Clark fields it at the 35. He's taken down at midfield. Miami's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He wants it all. Missed him. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Man left, man left. From the 50, second down. Miami is up four. Lost the ball, fumble. And he stopped behind the line. 98 Weasel, 98 Weasel. We've reached halftime and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 
The Hurricanes lead it by four. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Fielded at the nine. He's out to the 30. Heading for the corner. Down the sideline. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 25. They're ready to begin another drive. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 12-yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming, but not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. First and 10, ball on the 12. Miami holds a four-point lead. Steps out of bounds at the 11. throws it fires a laser touchdown and did that play ever develop nicely well it's all about the receiver on this play he beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route all he had to do after that was make the catch and the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass And he tacks on the extra point with a three-play, 25-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. The Hurricanes continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he tackles him hard at the 40. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Complete. He's got room. Knocked out of bounds at the 48. Strike to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. And 
and they make the stop at the 35. Zips it left. And that one's incomplete. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. He heaves it to the end zone. He's taken down at the four-yard line. This play is number eight on the drive. Gilmore off the left side, and he's tackled around the four-yard line. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 14-10. Allen ready to kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here, to be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Miami is up by four. Here's an opening. He's at midfield. And they finally knock him out at the 44. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. Nice run up the middle. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Double tight. Double tight. Four down. Four down. Mike two. Mike two. On the ground, left side. Tackle left side after a nice pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and five. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. First down. 
from the 20 yard line. First down. Mike two, Mike two. So at the end of the third quarter, Miami in front, 14 10. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Miami is up four. Tackle right around the 10 yard line. Harris makes the tackle at the 10 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Cornhuskers arrived at today's game ranked 20th, and for Nebraska, they reached the end zone with an aerial dart. Every score has had an answer, all locked up at 21. Upset special happens every year. Maybe it's one of those weekends. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. the 30 down the sideline and he's finally brought down at the 45 boy the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this in fact you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face the defensive coordinators on the other hand might be looking for a pink slip on monday so now both teams come trotting back out onto the field He's at the 30. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. They'll go for two in this situation. play 45 yard drive but they just get six points after failing to convert for two and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff from the seventh gets to about the 27 yard line Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First 
Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And down he goes, around the 50-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's a team number 15 on the ball. First down. From the 35-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. to the back he's tackled at the 26 the offensive line got a really good push there allowing the back to pick up nine on the play it's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker he makes his way to about the 18 you know that saying get your keys out because we're on a drive this offense right now is on a drive I mean this is their third first down they're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. The 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. Louisville will use their final timeout, and this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown, Kane. And he converts yeah, the extra point. Williams gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. You know, the first one of these defenses that makes a play and makes a stand might be the team that wins the ball game because it's been all offense and no defense so far. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He lets it fly. No, incomplete. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick strike to the back, no good. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly 
have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. That makes it second and ten. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 28-16, Hurricane. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.